Alright, let's see if this one has electric branding now. Yes, it does. Yes, it does indeed. 84166. Bro, why do why do they have to put on every like, why do you have to put on every electric bus, bro? Like, we get it, your bus is electric. Like, TFL is actually forcing companies now to put that on all of their electric buses. It's dumb, fam. It's actually dumb, man. but I like it at the same time. I like it at the same time, but it's kind of dumb. Like, why are you forcing every, every bloody company to do it? Like, Are even Arriva's done it to their EMCs now. I've seen, I've seen a picture. Now nah, I've seen a video, actually. I've seen a picture, fam. Even the EMCs on the on the 312 are starting to get it as well. I need to come back to those because those are those are calm buses, isn't it? One, two, four, three, five. Decent ting fam. Wow. Now these SN67s that at VD, they actually shine, you know. They're actually nice buses. Most, oh, oh, almost market. Also, oh, so it's an uncle shop, innit? Oh, that's the first, that's, just, that's the first time I've seen an uncle's corner shop, you know, because it says African food and meat. Foods and meat, obviously, because Africans love their meat, innit? So, yeah, man. That's the first time I've seen an African with a, with a corner shop, innit? Because usually you see, like, the Indians, Somalians. Not to be racist or anything, but I usually, I usually see them... I usually see them in ethnic, uh, ethnicities. I don't usually see that. I don't usually see Africans with like corner shops and all them things there in it. To be fair, it's not even about being like that. You don't even have to be like careful of the gangs in these areas anymore because you don't even really see like gangs over here anymore. You 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 usually just see like you just see like chaps. That's pretty much it. That's the only people you need to look out for. And then, obviously, some of these weird. Let's see, 79. Obviously, some of the adults are a bit crazy, innit? They're a bit cuckoo. Got some problems. But yeah, areas like this, they've calmed down. Like, back in the past, like, like if you see, like, gang wars on YouTube, that this, areas like this used to be filled with gangs and now it's just like normal people living here and just chaps it's not like actual organized gangs you see like locating about areas like this anymore like okay like maybe north london yeah maybe brixton yeah but like thames me this calm down it's calm down bro but there's a chance in the future for there to be, actually be like organized gang crime because because These kids, the path they're leading themselves in, it's not good. It's not good, man. It's not good at all. They need to help themselves. Their parents need to help them. Because their parents are not doing a good job. They're yeah, really not. Their parents are just letting their, them like live anyhow, destruct, destroy stuff. And then like, and then some of these parents, yeah, even they smack their kids, yeah, and it still doesn't work. 
Smacking, it doesn't help, bro. It does not help, bro. It's just teaching your kid. It's just teaching your kid more violence, isn't it? It's not really helping them, to be fair. Like, my mum, oh. My mum never slaps me, you know? And to look how civilised I've turned up. Like, it's not always about slapping and slapping and slapping. Like, slapping, slapping, in my opinion, yeah, that's just some, like, that's just wrong. You shouldn't slap your kid. I mean, okay, like, the only times I'll slap my kid is if he goes, go, like, below the line. But at the end of the day, you're still teaching your kid, like, uh, violence is acceptable if you feel that, if you feel offended. That's basically what you're teaching your kid. Because most of these Africans, you'll see, you'll see them like slap their kids if they batch at them. Like, so, okay, so like, you're telling your kid it's acceptable to hit people, put hands on people whenever they, whenever they get mouthy to them. That's basically what you're telling your kid. That's how I see it. And then, so some of these kids here yeah, that get slapped, bro, they're so shy. They're not even confident. Like, some of these kids that come from African homes, yeah, where their parents are just beating them up every five seconds. They're one of the shyest, like, they're, they're shy. It's not even like they're sweet. They're just shy. Because they haven't been ever, they, they haven't really been able to express themselves, to say what they want to say without getting hit, without the feel of getting hit, fam. Like, that's what it is out here. Bro, when I'm unwell, bro, my brain, my brain, no, it's because I'm relaxing it. Because when you're unwell, you have no choice but to be relaxed more of the time. So that's why I'm talking like this. Because, yes, I am unwell. That's why I haven't been recording for the past few days, innit? Because I'm unwell. <laughs>